and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and today is tip and trick number 15. Now, this is one you've probably seen me use in the past, but when you have diamond paintings that you need to store, some people will store them under mattresses, under rugs to keep them flat, things like that, but the the one that I like to use is a trouser hanger. So one of the hangers with these clips on the bottom, these are picked up from the range as like a two pack, but they do have, over the metal, they have like a grip that helps to hold on. Um, so they do come as a two pack, but I label mine up into sort of sections. So these are my special diamond paintings and I have quite a few on there. You can sort of tell when it gets to the weight where the hangers had enough and you will find that they'll move a bit. Um, I tend to keep up to a maximum of about a 30 by 40 or maybe a 40 by 50 on them. I also have one for round. This one is a lot fuller as you can see but it's still it's still holding. I sort of hold it up and give it a little little shake and see what happens. If they come off, then I need to move to another hanger. And then I also have one as well for square. There's not as many square on there either at the moment. You can even use these for really big diamond paintings. Because I am lucky enough to have a craft space, albeit a small one, I hang them up on the wall in my craft room and because of that I am limited on how wide I can do them and how long they can be because they are hung up near my desk. But if you had, maybe if you were lucky enough to have a craft room and had an open wall, you could potentially hold ones that were a lot longer and even wider. You could also, if you are short of space and maybe don't have a craft room, you could hang up your diamond paintings and pop them in one side of your wardrobe maybe to keep them safe. There are a few different options of places you can hang these, but I find these perfect because I, I can flip through, you know, flip through these and say, oh, okay, I want to do this one next. And I can just hold one of these and sort of pull the diamond painting out and then lift up the other one, pull the diamond painting out, all the rest stay on the hanger and I have my next diamond painting. Whichever way sort of works for you. If, if you know, many people do store them flat under a bed maybe, or some people do it under a mattress, but I like this way because they all look pretty on my wall as well, which is always a bonus. My labels are just for ease because I do have a few different diamond paintings that I might need to find. But anyway, that is my tip and trick number 15. Use hangers to hang up your diamond paintings that you've not yet done. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.